The amount of Etsy sellers that have had their shops hacked lately seems to be on the rise and this is where I put my mum face on and ask you, have you set up two-factor verification yet? Okay, okay, yes, I know. It's not a fail-safe. It does not guarantee that your shop will not get hacked. But, as someone put it so eloquently, eloquently? <laughs> Ironic, I can't even say it. But as somebody said it really, really well to me the last time I did a video on this topic, people can still break into your house even if you lock it. And yet when you go outside and you go to work or whatever, you still lock it, right? Imagine your shop has got various doors that hackers can get in through. Well, there are easier ones and there are ones that are difficult to open. And adding something like two-factor verification shuts and locks the easiest ones. Yes, they can still hack your shop, but they have to try harder and they have to try and get open those doors that are harder to open. I've gone as far as I can go with this metaphor, but the point is the same. You should have it switched on even if you don't already. Imagine it's holiday season, things are busy and you've got outstanding orders and your shop gets hacked and you cannot get into it. How are you going to protect your payment details, your card details that are linked to your shop? How are you going to get those orders out? Sure, it's not a fail safe, but your shop is definitely more secure with it than without. So on that note, let's dive in. Okay, so you can have it set up so that you either get a phone call or you get a text message with a code. However, this isn't available in all countries yet. Etsy have a list of the countries that can make use of this at the moment. If your country isn't in that, don't worry, you can still use an authenticator app. And so let's just run you through quickly how you would do this. Oh, uh, right, okay, so from here, you go up to your account, click and go down to account settings. And this will take you to your account settings page. And from here, you go to security. And here it is. It's as simple as that. You can choose whether or not to use a authenticator app, get codes via text message, have someone phone you. And there's also an option to get some backup codes, which I strongly advise. I've chosen text messages and also to receive an email when your account is accessed from a new device or browser and I suggest clicking that too. If you choose text messages or phone, you will obviously have to enter in your phone number, but it is so simple, you can do this in a matter of minutes. And then you don't stop there. You can also add two-factor verification onto other platforms like your social media, PayPal, emails, all sorts of things. And each one will be like shutting a door, making sure that not just your shop is secure, your shop is secure and your PayPal account is secure. It makes it all secure. Time for me to go. I hope that little tip was helpful. It will only be helpful if you actually do the thing. So I'm going to leave you now and you're going to go and do the thing, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, see you next time.